Today, I'm going to be talking about Psalm 10 verse 10 which says so he crouches, he lies low, that the helpless may fall by his strength. This verse is a powerful description of the wicked, and it can be helpful for us to understand what the Bible says about evil. In this verse, the psalmist compares the wicked to dogs. This is a fitting comparison because dogs are scavengers. They will eat anything they can find, even if it is rotten or dirty. The wicked are like dogs in that they are willing to do anything. To get what they want, they are not concerned with morality or ethics. They are only concerned with their own self-interest. The psalmist also says that the wicked prowl on all fours. This means that they are always looking for ways to take advantage of others. They are like predators, always circling their prey, waiting for an opportunity to strike. The psalmist's words are a warning to us. They remind us that evil is real and that it is always lurking around the corner. But they also remind us that God is in control. He will eventually punish the wicked and he will protect those who are righteous. One related Bible story is the story of David and Goliath. Goliath was a giant who was terrorizing the Israelites. He was a symbol of the wicked and he seemed invincible. But David, a young shepherd boy, stepped forward to challenge Goliath. David knew that God was with him and he was not afraid. He defeated Goliath with a slingshot and a stone, and the Israelites were saved. I would also like to add that Psalm 1010 is a reminder that we should not be afraid of the wicked God is with us, and he will protect us from those who would harm us. We can trust in him to vindicate us and to bring justice to the world. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you today in prayer. Feeling overwhelmed by the troubles of this world, I see the wicked prospering. While the weak and oppressed are suffering, I ask, why do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? I know that you are a just God, and that you will ultimately vindicate the righteous, but in the meantime, I am struggling to find hope. I feel like I am being hunted down by the wicked, and I am afraid. Please, Lord, give me strength to endure this time of trouble. Help me to trust in your justice, even when I cannot see it, and please, let your light shine through the darkness, so that I may know that you are still with me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 10 verse 10 is a powerful verse that can help us understand the nature of evil. It reminds us that evil is real, but that God is in control. He will eventually punish the wicked, and he will protect those who are righteous. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one.